all, welcome to a day in my life as a data analyst living in Toronto, Canada. If you're just stopping by, you're very much welcome. To start my day, I always begin with having a cup of tea and I'm actually not a coffee person, so you would hardly find me having coffee whether in the morning, in the afternoon or whatever time. I am comfortable with the all normal Lipton tea right so yeah my i'm making my tea pretty much i'm just getting my day started i really just like doing doing this just to have something in my system before my day starts Stuff, I will just write down the list, list of things I want to achieve for the day. So this could cover pretty much anything around personal stuff, work stuff, other things I do personally at home um, or even on my YouTube as well. So I really like writing down things just so that at the end of the day I can take out the tasks I've been able to work on and accomplish. For me personally, literally makes me feel good when I look back at my day and I see that I've been able to take out a lot of things. I also begin my day as the analyst by um, having stand-up and prior to this I've already gone through my meals, my slack, you know, and yeah, I'm literally giving um, my updates as regards the tax that was assigned to me for the week. So this is a daily stand-up we do have and I'm with my team members. And we're discussing and I'm sharing some updates on the tax I've worked on. Yeah, we also talk about um, blockers as well too. Or any challenge or impediment that may be blocking some tax that we're currently working on. So it's literally a very short meeting but at the same time just going through what we've done the previous day and what we intend to do for today. Because check everything is is correct if I click the test collection button. <laughs> And yet, yeah, that's the shock in my face. After I literally just found out that I got my database connected and I can now query the data in my tables. So next up, I have my meal. And for this meal, I already had the vegetables and all already sliced. And it was ready prior to this. So this was just me putting everything together. And yeah, thanks to YouTube for the amazing I mean, the amazing meal I get to learn on YouTube. I've learned a whole lot of meal on YouTube and literally every day I try it out personally and so far I'm quite glad as to the new meal I've added to my meal plan. So after that, I go back and I do some more work. I'm, I'm literally always excited working most times, especially when I do not have like any challenge. And most times, either I'm working solo, that's on my own, or I'm working on speaking to a team member to guide me through as to how to go about a few things. Right, particularly for this day, was pretty much centered around some database connection and querying some deep tables in the, da in the database. So I was in back and forth Slack huddles with him, and it was such a great assist in terms of helping me out. And I know that there's a park so they are dogs around somewhere and it's not something that I would even want to happen. But I'm just gonna walk down and see what's happening. 
think there's a party going on here. Let's go and try to cut it today, see it. After work for the rainy part of my day, I come here to come up with ideas, come up with um, ideas basically for my YouTube as well as other things that I need to work on. So it could be with coming up with articles um, or blogs regarding new learnings I'm currently learning on as I journey to do my um, career and data analytics or even just penning down my current projects. That I'm working on as an AWS contributor. So tell me guys, comment below, are you a work from home buddy or you do enjoy going to co-working space? I would love to know. So comment below. So I really try to put in some personal work and also when working, I love listening to lo-fi music. There's one very good music that I do enjoy um, on YouTube. Um, Unique Harris is his name and his music literally sets the tone for me. Vibrant yellow or green? Vibrant yellow and red. But then they are dying. So it's very green. So it won't be interested. So it's going to be dry. So they're like they'll be dried. Uh-huh. Like this color. They'll be lipless. Like that tree. I'll just take. I'll try the other one. So I'll just use this one here. I'll cycle home. If you've enjoyed this video so far, please be sure to like and also comment. Thank you so much, guys, for watching. See you in my next video.